So the hashtags I use are Dream Achieve Repeat, which is one Amanda and I came up with, Healthy Balance Family, which is the name of our group, which I'm sure you guys all have a name of your like team, whatever, your team. Right. And um, Studio T Nutrifit, which is my corporation. Don't use too many hashtags, though. Delroy Messner, I just heard her speak yesterday. You know, three, four, five, maybe max. You don't need to list 20 hashtags on there. But hashtags are super important because people can actually search hashtags. So if they search Dream Achieve Repeat, you're going to find a lot of my team because right. we always use Dream Achieve Repeat of, of our posts. Um, right. Yeah. And that's that. I'm sure that helps to stay consistent because it's not just you using it, but it's the yeah. other people on your team using it. That's sure. a very good point. We tend to use one team or one team 2016 team or team be free or something like that, which is our team. Um, but that's a very good thing. Now I'm curious how many of us are actually using those hashtags consistently because every, every time I see your posts, it always has those three hashtags. In it. Yeah. I find that very consistent. And honestly, if I were somebody that did not know anything about isogenics and I was just looking for a solution and I saw how consistent you were, you would be the person that I would go to because you look professional because you're consistent. You look like somebody that I can trust. Yes. Somebody that's not just going to sign me up for the money and leave. Right. Yes. So it's very important. I, I make that. I make my profile pictures just my face. It's a professional photo. My cover photo is a professional photo. I change that out between some pictures, but it's always a professional, high quality um, photo. You always want your profile picture to be just you. You don't want it to be, you know, your entire family you just because it's such a small picture. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's a very, very good point that I think a lot of people don't realize either. Yeah. So do, do you, um, do you go by the 10 for one method of Facebook posting and posting at certain times? Um, yes. I coach my team how to do 10 for one. I get tagged in a lot of posts, but what you want to do. And uh, like I said, I did this great Facebook video and I actually showed that you want to make your, your Facebook public. So mm -hmm. everyone can see it. If you're in the, for the business, you, you right. got to be public. Mm -hmm. And you also can do it where if you get tagged in something, you get sent a message where you can hide it from your timeline or you can add it to your timeline. So if it right. doesn't fit in your 10 for one for that week, you just may want to hide it. It's not offending. It shouldn't offend anybody that you're not putting it on their page, but sometimes they get tagged in some stuff. I'm like, eh. you know, I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah. I learned how to hide this stuff, you know, <laughs> you know, and, but and yes, with timing, um, power post time, Sunday night, 7 to 9 p.m. That is the, you'll see probably, I'll probably get tagged in three or four tonight um, just because it's, it's Sunday night. I know that they're coming. Um, right. Uh, um, also 7 to 9 a.m. on Monday through Friday mm -hmm. are good. Uh, Friday night and Saturday are hit and miss. Um, if you're going to do a power post, I probably wouldn't post it in those times. But right. yes. I would say 98% of my posts go on between 7 and 9 a.m. and 7 and, 10, uh, 7 and uh, 9 p.m. Excellent. And do you do them all like quote unquote by hand or are you using something like Post Plan or a Buffer or Hootsuite? To I do not use any of those. No. Okay. I, and that's going to debate on our team. No, I, I actually make them up ahead of time and I mm -hmm. store them on my computer and I get ideas. So I have like tonight's on there. It's yep. all I need to do is copy and paste. Um, That's a great idea. Because then I'm in control of it. And, and then people say, well, I'm busy. And yes, Buffer and Hootsuite and all those come in handy if, if you don't have time. So use them. You know, use them. To me, this is my full-time job, and I make it priority. Again, I make Facebook. I know it sounds so stupid because Facebook used to be like, nothing to me you know <laughs> now it's facebook's my business that's that's it Absolutely. you know yeah it's that's how i grow everything Absolutely. one of my little boys made a cameo He's cute um okay so i had just a couple more questions if you can if you can bear yeah. with me on that one um so our team has grown significantly um and what we're finding now is that um the leaders on the team we have um, we're trying to make sure that all of our business builders are well supported and we're finding that you know different personalities come into play and some people are more comfortable with doing certain things and some people are not mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about or what would I how do I ask this what do you believe your role is as a leader as far as getting people to events letting them know about promotions um, things like that. The reason I ask is that there are some people on our team that it seems like they're struggling where they don't want to feel like they're being pushy. They don't want to feel like they're 
um, you know, overdoing it. And then there are other people on the team that feel like it's our duty to act as a consultant. You know, so there's our duty to let people know about the events and to encourage them to get there um, and don't see it as pushy. So I'm curious, Tara does things Tara's way. What is Tara's way? Yes, my way. Because it works for you. You just said you had a carload of people. That oh, we wanted- did. We had, um, I think there was a total of 12 of us that went to Super Saturday. It was a two hour drive too. So yes, wow. um, we have... Um, Healthy Balanced Family is our support page, okay? Um, and then we had Healthy Balanced Business, where in order to get added to that group, you have to be a consultant or above. Mm-hmm. So that group is not huge. Healthy Balanced Family is huge. Seven, you know, we have 1,700 people on my team. Over, wow. seven, we're now approaching 1,800. Like, mm-hmm. we get like 100 a week now. Like, that's wow. how fast we're going. But Healthy wow. Balanced Business... Yeah, that's Dakota. <laughs> Healthy Balance Business is our business support page. So on there, I'm the leader and Amanda. Amanda's my other executive. And mm-hmm. we kind of, I don't want to say take charge, but that's where we encourage people to get to events. That's where, If we posted the business things in our Healthy Balance family, I think it would offend some people. So we make sure that we, I got kids coming down the stairs everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I make sure I put all my business stuff on Healthy Balance business. I try not to be pushy. I encourage them and try to explain to them not only on that page but in person how important it is to go to events you have to you have to go to events um i just got my ticket today for a new year's kickoff because they did tell me yesterday that they're 90 percent sold out just wow yes wow okay so there's anybody on our team that has not gotten a nyco ticket that are they they better be getting it (laughs) yeah they just told us that yesterday absolutely my daughter and i are going to be going together this year it's going to be a lot of fun great that's fantastic. So um, now, do you ever feel that um, by reaching out and encouraging people to attend these events that, um, that that that's being pushy or do you view it as just part of your? And it's not, to me, it's not being pushy to me. It's, it's, if they are a consultant and they want, if they're showing interest in, now I don't push the people that are just product users, but sure, what I do with product users and some of my product users have turned over to, to let's just say I had a product user for nine months, okay? And they've ordered every month for nine months and it's 100 BV a month. And I look at their PV mm-hmm. and I look at maybe I put, well, I put them on one of my legs, which are very pretty strong legs. Mm-hmm. I look at their PV. I figure out how many times they're going to cycle if they enroll two people. Yeah, I just go the lowest. I just go custom 30 day. If they enroll two people with a custom 30 day, how many times are they going to cycle? I'll reach out to them. Say, do you realize you have $890 sitting because you're such an awesome product user? Do you realize that? And then they go, what? You know, what are you talking about? <laughs> or they go, yeah, I realize that I'm not ready to share. But when I do, when I am ready to share, I'll let you know. So I do get that. But some people don't realize it. I, I, you know, that that's important. You have to reach out to those product users. Product users make up 80 per, 87% of your downline. And you don't know if you have a closet business builder in your product users. So Absolutely. So get to reach out to your product users and ask them how they're feeling, their experience, if they feel like they're ready to share, if they, you know, because don't be scared to do that because it's brought a few consultants out for me, um, personal re-enrolled consultants out for me just from by reaching out to them. Absolutely. Um, I think um, probably the queen of reaching out on our team would be, of course, Victoria. I think she remembers everything about everybody and she reaches oh. out consistently and she is go. the person that kind of taught me, you know, yeah. and just, it's funny that you say that because just Friday, two days ago, um, I had a, um, a coaching call with somebody that's been ordering consistently and her life partner has been ordering consistently since around last December. Yeah. They're more of a referral source. Um, they, the, the one woman has her partner and another person under her and is a consultant. Um, and both of them have been pretty consistent. Um, and I got a call from her on Thursday night saying, Hey, I, I checked my, uh, back office, which is the first time I heard her say back office, check my back office and all my points are gone. What happened? 
And I said, well, I said, remember a couple of days ago, I said you were in grace period because I, I check these things. Yeah, and I just yeah. let her know. I said, you're in grace period. This is what you need to do. Yes. Reach out to me. And she didn't. So now she lost her point. So I said, all right, let's get on the phone tomorrow morning first thing. So we had a nine o'clock coaching call with her. And, um, and I said, okay, let's reach out to Isogenics Corporate and find out if they will reset. And, she, and I had no idea that this woman was even looking at her points. Whenever I'm build, bringing up business building, she's like, no, not there yet, not there yet, but I love it. And every so often she'll send me somebody that she works with. And in her profession, it would be a conflict of interest. Um, so we worked that out where they're not directly under her. I had no idea. And that taught me a big lesson because I thought, okay, so, you know, Sharon, this woman, I said, let's take a look at what we can do. She goes, well, what do I need to do? I said, well, right now you only have 47 points because you moved yeah, your other yeah. off. So I said, so the first thing we have to do is get you up to 100. Yes. Yeah. What you have in your auto ship. Let's adjust that, move it out. I said, then we're going to do a three-way call with Isogenics Corporate. And I'm going to show you how to talk to them. And that's what, we, that's what they did. And they reset her points. So one time yeah. lifetime restoration, they won't do it again. But she said, at the end of that call, she said, I'm never going inactive again. And neither is Karen, her life partner. Yeah. I said, perfect. Now that's somebody that I'm thinking, huh, okay. So good thing I haven't written her off as a business builder because clearly she gets it and clearly she's just not ready. And if I had not watched my team to alert her and if I had not followed up with her immediately and helped her, um, she would have lost all those points. And now she sent me a text message saying, you are my angel, you are my savior. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I thought, okay, say good job done, Paula, because I didn't just back away thinking this woman's going to think that I'm, um, being pushy here. She was actually and not only that, but in, when they're in grace period, sometimes they don't realize that like, um, anytime someone goes, starts to go in grace period, I message them. I'm like, Hey, what's going on? You know, <laughs> or if somebody's credit card doesn't go through you because sometimes they don't exactly. realize it, that they're what's, what's happening. And I always, exactly. I mean, always able to get the people back on to the yeah. consultant again. Absolutely. And it, and it, shows them that you're really out looking out for them, yes. um, which is what she said. She said, she said, you're a true friend. You're looking out for me. And I did what you did. I calculated. I said, all right, so these are the points that you had when I looked, and this is what you have on your, what you had on your other team. She has one team that's much stronger than the other one leg that's stronger than the other leg. And I just computed it out with her and I had her do it with me. And she said, oh my gosh. I said, yeah, you're sitting on about $630 here. And now that your life partner pushed her auto ship out, as soon as she gets that back, which she did, you're going to start cycling again. And she's like, okay, we're never going to, and she, you know, I said, you're sitting on cash and people really appreciate that. Um, yet I know that some leaders are afraid to do that because they feel like they're being pushy. But I think what oh, no, 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 you're, no, you're, just being you're being helpful, you're being of service and you're being consistent. Yes. Um, so just one more question, if you don't mind. I think we've covered a lot of my questions already, and I appreciate your time because I wasn't planning on this being this long, but you're fascinating <laughs> and you're so helpful. Um, my bigger coaching that I'm doing is um, how I prospect and how I create what I call trios because I'm a musician. So when I do training, I have a lot of musicians on my team and we can all relate to the whole trio duo thing. So when we create a trio, um, how do you create your trios? How do you encourage people to uh, get people underneath them? I heard what you said before about as soon as they're signing up, you're asking them or when they have certain amounts of points under them, you're letting them know if they just put another person or two people under them that they will become consultants. But how do you help them to know how to do the same? In other words, how do you do, how do you get yeah. them to duplicate you? Well, um, I sit down with them and talk. I mean, I, I, it, someone asked me that yesterday. We went out to dinner after the Super Saturday. They're like, how do you get, it's as soon as someone does, agrees to do a power post or lets me do the power post, I say, okay, let's get me on a Zoom call in person if they're in uh, Illinois here and we are going to talk business. What works for you in the next two days? I mean, I want to get them on my schedule sometime and I block out a solid hour and a half. I mean, we're not talking like a 15 minute call. We're talking a solid hour. I try, I make sure I send them the Facebook video that I told you about. I send them the Eric Hoover comp plan video. And I say, you watch these, 
before you get on the call with me? Because then they're going to get a lot of background more on that stuff. Mm-hmm. I said, and, and then I want to answer all your questions. And sometimes those turn into a couple hours. And I do a lot of them in person, especially if they're in the area. But the, um, the ones that are outside area, I have a lot of people in Pennsylvania. Like I said, Texas, South Carolina. Um, I do those on Zoom. That's awesome. I think Zoom is a phenomenal tool. <laughs> I love this. Well, that is fantastic. I'm just looking at um, all my questions, and I think we actually got all of them done. Um, You are an absolute inspiration. I'm so grateful for you, for your time to help our team as well and help the people that are on our team that are really trying to build their business, and they have very, very big whys. Um, So thank thank you for that. And I can't wait to hear what your next why is now that you have Gail home. <laughs> and tell me, it's great. It is great. I'm so happy when I saw that post, I thought that's fantastic. Yeah. And I love that you put that out there too. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have to, um, that, that's actually, I hate the backup, but that's, um, Gail doesn't like Facebook to be honest. And, and, and it's been, that's, I mean, he's supported me a hundred percent since day one. He started the 30 day thing with me right at the beginning. I mean, he's always been a hundred percent support. One thing he doesn't get yet is the Facebook. I think he's getting closer to understanding it, but, um, he does, he doesn't want to come off as braggy. And yeah. Del Ray Messner said last yesterday, and I haven't had a talk, chance to talk to him about this yet. Cause I haven't talked to him about it, but she said, you have to do that. It's not bragging. It's showing people success. It's showing them something you don't know who you're going to strike a chord with that can relate to that and wants what you have. Um, it's, it's not bragging. And it, it, and it took me a little while to get past that. Um, and I don't do it often. I honestly do it. Yes, Gail retiring, that's huge. I've worked Absolutely. my rear end off for it. So yeah. I, I did put that on there. And, and, and like I said, paying off the house, the mortgage, um, we're able to do that. We're doing that tomorrow. I would love to do a post. And it was kind of right before our call tonight. It was like, he said, no. And I said, yes. And I said, <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to go do a call. We'll come back to this later on. So <laughs> I, if you see a post tonight, then you yeah. know I want to. <laughs> but, yeah, but that would be so inspirational though, for people to know, you know, yes. that would inspire people say, yes, this is actually possible. I know, I know. It's tough and, and it's not bragging, guys. It's it's something. I had zero business. You don't understand. I, I, I'm an introvert. I don't like going out. I'm not social. I build majority of my business through Facebook. Um, I, I consider myself one of the, a Facebook like expert, to be honest, because I honestly, that's how I build all this. And I appreciate you asking me to come on here and if anyone has any questions and you know Paula and I like she said in the beginning we're not on the same we're on one team we are on one team but we're on cross teams and uh but I I I will help anybody who needs my help I've done I've done launch party zoom calls for people that aren't on my team I don't care if you need me to help you with something I'll help you with it because I want to see people succeed I would be more it would make me so happy to get Amanda retired to, so she can stay home with her family. It's not at that point yet, but it would make me so happy. It's not jealousy. I'm not envious of anybody. I just want to see everyone succeed. So if, if you know, if, if I could help anybody or any of you, just friend me on Facebook. Thank um, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I will make sure that we do. Yeah. Um, yeah, we on our team, we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of teachers, um, probably because I'm a teacher. <laughs> so I've yeah. ended up, you know, having a lot of teachers as well. And I have, you know, some teachers that just would like to retire and be home with their families. You know, teaching profession has gotten very, very, very stressful oh, um, okay. and lots of freezes on income and non, you know, not, not able to get tenure like they would hope to. And they're seeing this as a vehicle. And I would just love to see that happen for people. And then other people like me who are single moms who are working a couple of jobs and, you know, they're just missing out there they feel like they're missing out on their children and that precious time that we have before they're off. Um, and I would just love to see, you know, that, that happen as yeah. well. You know, everybody. Oh, be wonderful. The, every yeah. time they announce a millionaire, I get so happy. I don't get jealous. Why would I get jealous of them? You know, yeah, that's exactly. awesome. They've done awesome. Just be happy for others. You know, if you yeah. look with envy, it's not, it's not going to be good. But you, 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 it's just amazing. This company is amazing. This opportunity is amazing. I didn't even know what the word network marketing was prior to isogenics. I had no business background other than I did build my business from the ground up, but it was a brick and mortar place. I had, 
And I have taught myself everything by using the tools, by using Isogenics Business, by by reading, by listening to Peter speak, by listening to podcasts on my runs, by, you know, anything I can do in my free moments to learn, I try to learn the most I can so that I can help my team. And the more you can help your team and serve your team and care for your team and love on your team, the more your, your business is going to grow. Absolutely. Yeah, that's very, very wise advice. And I'm sure that you're setting an example by going to the celebration, by going to NICO, by going to Super Saturdays. If, if you want to build your team, you need to get people at events and you can't expect your downline to go to events if you're not going to events. Exactly. You have to go. You have to And go. you have to show up to team call, right? Oh, I, I'm a, I, I think I said that uh, I think I've missed two team calls since June 8th of last year. I, I swear. I, I honestly do not miss team calls. I just, yeah. It's something I truly believe in. If you want to build the business, you'd be on the team call. Absolutely. And it's not enough to go back and listen to the recording if that was the first time. You know, it, it, you just don't get the same thing out of it um, as you do with the energy when you're showing up at the time that it's happening and that energy is putting out to the world and you're feeling the energy of your other teammates um, and you feel the love and you feel the camaraderie and you feel the kinship with people, right? It's just not the exactly. same. Exactly. In fact, the reason we're pre-recording this call is because I don't want to miss my team call <laughs> at the exact same time your team call is. That's the only yeah. reason we're pre-recording this. Otherwise I'd be on your call, but it's at the exact yeah. same time as my call. And I honestly, unless I'm in somewhere with no Wi-Fi, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm the same exact way. It's just carved right out in my calendar. Nothing gets in the way of it. And, um, and I'm happy to say that the majority of the people on our team do the same thing, which yeah. is why I think we're growing so quickly. And um, I know Victoria and Pete uh, laid a great foundation for us in doing that because they show up and they're, they're consistent. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, both of them they're are amazing. I, just, I met them at a celebration. They're awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're fantastic people. So thank you so much, Tara, once again. Thank you for recording this for me. Thank you for giving me a little bit of Zoom training. <laughs> My no I appreciate it. You're an expert on Facebook and on Zoom. And I'm just getting to know this whole Zoom thing myself. So Tara was nice enough to record this for us. And thank you very much. I look forward to seeing all of your successes as you go. And um, I want to be like you when I grow up. Thank you. Aww, thank you. <laughs> and I will help anybody that needs help. So seriously, guys, just message me. I'm, I'm more than willing to help anybody. Great. Thank you. Okay. Tara. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you.